Hello and welcome to the Smart Excel. This video is about data validation and errors. You know, when you get errors, you get panicked, and this is the reason why you should have a right solution. In the previous video, I showed you about simple one word category items, and this was our sheet. These were the grocery items, and this is the main categories, and these were the subcategories. So, from the main category, we could have selected the exact subcategories. So now we can go in an ad, in an advanced mode when you are put in a simple mode. Now this is an advanced mode. So we have both row wise and columns. So this is row wise right now. Now the issue over here is that I have made this in the row wise, but we have two words. Now when you have two words, there is an issue in the ranges and tables because tables and ranges do not support spaces. We can't have a space. We should have to have a underscoring. So how you get an error and how to rectify this error is the, all the video about. So if you want, you can just check in the simple list. I have created a format, but I want you to make this before making this format. I want this list to be in the alphabetic order. So alphabetic order in the sense is now this list. If you have an A, B, C, D in a, like a dictionary, it's going to be more useful. So if you have ups and downs, it is, it is better you make this in an alphabetic order. I'm going to tell you why. So now let's start this. So I'll be creating a main list first. So this is going to be main list. And I'm going to formulas and create from selection and top row. So it will be called as main or A underscore main automatically. The system will be generated. So you can see A underscore main. Now I will be selecting the list. It's a horizontal way. So this is create from selection and this is going to be left column. So these are my categories and these are my subcategories. So now all of the systems we have been generated, you can check over here. You can select from here. So you, you can also check, go to formulas and name manager and you can see things have been selected over here but the thing is you can see that these things have been underscores 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 so system has to have underscore otherwise it doesn't generate now let's see it simply in the previous way how we created it so now i'm going to have a data validation and a list so i'm hitting f3 and main So these are my items which have been created here. So this is the item. You can see it doesn't have any underscores. But when I want to sub set subcategory, I'm going to do data validation again. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to make an indirect formula. Indirect. Open the parenthesis and B3. I'll make this reference. We can do move to the column wise section and I can do OK. The source currently evaluates to an error. Do you want to continue? I'll be saying yes. So this is the error. Now, if I select any item, I am getting an error. So you can see that because there are two items. Now, what will happen if I remove one item from here? instead of baby stuff baby stuff i will just make this as baby baby but we have to change over here also formulas name manager edit and i will make this as a baby and i will do okay Now you can see we can get the answer but this is not a proper solution if i have two words it doesn't mean that i wipe off every time so i have three words i can't keep a sing single word all the time so i'll be just making this into control z so we can 
see so we need to have proper solution for this so the one solution what i can understand is the solution number one which i have showed you step one you can put an underscore for each item or you can remove on each item so removing is not a best solution so you can do is you can put an underscore So now when you have baby stuff, you can see, you can get the item, you have to put an underscore. But if you have a big data base of hundreds of hundreds or thousands of items, keeping adding an underscore each time is going to be a horrible experience. So that you can have a better solution in that, that is, I'm going to show you step number one, go to formulas and just select an area so this is a step i'm showing you paste names and paste list now automatically you got the list what you can do is control c and you can make from here so this is the issue control c and control v So now when you go to the items, baked goods, when you pull this down, you can see the items are being, so you got the solution for this. So each and every item you can, you can have your own. So this is my, this is one of the way, fresh vegetables and all. So if this is the solution, you have to just add an underscore. But if you can't add an underscore, now this is the issue, what you can do. So what I'll be doing is I'll be doing undo. And I'll be doing undo here also. So now I don't want to change the names. I don't want, I want to have underscore, it doesn't look nice. So on that, what is the best thing you can do? So you can use a indirect function. You already have indirect function. So if you go and see data validation, you have indirect. So what you can do is add a substitute function. So it will be like, I'll be doing over here in the beginning. So it can be useful. You can have a screen tips indirect. Open the parentheses and have a substitute inside indirect. Substitute. So substitute text will be the same column. I'll be making this a relative reference. Old text. The old text was space. The new text will be underscore underscore close parent the close double inverted commas. You have to be very careful if you make extra space, you will get an error. So you can see it's showing an answer. Now copy this formula. Control C. Go to data validation and just paste this formula. So you can see the answers. Now, if you have any other items, even if you have just pull this down, so the formulas are copied. Now you can have baked goods you have the items so i hope you got this video useful and i would like to thank you for watching this video please share this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much